All right. We're it's Lenny and Blisi. We're talking about the demonstrative pronoun akenos. The book does this bad thing. Okay, language is a is a system built up of many subsystems, and uh, um, but the book tends to present you things piecemeal, which makes you have little pieces or chunks, but it doesn't give you a sense of what the whole looks like. Mm -hmm. So what we want to talk about is something the book doesn't talk about, which is how how um, the demonstrative, so-called demonstrative adjectives or pronouns work in Greek. Um, demonstratives are words for pointing at things, okay? And, and let's say, talk about them in English. We only have two in English, this and that, okay? This is singular, that is plural, is, mm -hmm. is also singular. The plural of these are, of these, of the two words are, these is the plural of this, and those is the plural of that. I don't think we really realize that. Mm -mm. But, 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 um, English ha has two only, okay? And this means also that the book really messes up and doesn't understand how the Greek system works, because in Greek there are three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Blisa is going to talk to you about about Spanish, uh, because... Um, basically, in Spanish it works the same way as in Greek, so some of you have, have some language training, I know, in, in Spanish and maybe other Romance languages, and it's the same thing. There are three demonstrative pronouns, um, our way of saying this or that, and it mm -hmm. corresponds to um, the, the people. So if, if I have something, you, you call it, you know, este iPad. Uh -huh. <laughs> he has ese libro, that one that he has next uh -huh. to him, and then something far away is aquel, aquel libro or aquel iPad or whatever. So it's I, you, and, and he, that or person, she, or yep. 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 Right. And so that's the way these work in Greek, um, too. So the one that they introduce you to here is the third person one, the one that's that belongs to somebody else, not mm -hmm. I, Belisi or I, okay? And that's a kainos, okay? Um, it derives from the adverb a k, which mm. means there, okay? Not here, but there, <laughs> okay? So uh, um, and, and in English, that's the way the, the demonstrative pronouns work. That's why they're starting out with something that looks familiar, because in English we have this and that, mm -hmm. and the difference between them is this is here and that is there, okay? Right. So, so it misleads you into thinking that the Greek system is like the English one, which is not totally true. All right, so there are similarities, but there's a big difference. So let's look, look at the forms, and then we can talk about how we translate this one. Um, the, I believe he's written up the, the forms of the singular of a kenos. It's an adjective. That means this or that. Because it's an adjective, like any Greek adjective, it also could be a noun. So a kenos can mean, oops. Oh, yeah. Here we go. These lights. Hold on. Um, so, a kainos can mean that this person, this person in indiscriminately, whether they're male or female, or it can mean this human being that's male, and a can mean this female, this woman, or this female uh, animal, and a kaino is that, th I mean, not, uh, that was all wrong. It can mean that uh, male or that female or that thing, okay? A kaino being the neuter, okay? And plural, those things, and the those women, okay? So so they rigorously correspond to the words that and those in meaning, um, but they can be adjectives as well as pronouns, just like any other adjectives. They can be a noun as well as an adjective. So if you look at the forms, um, they're all exactly the same. Then this word is inflected like agathos, as has the same endings. That is, its second declension endings in the masculine, first declension endings like the techne type in the feminine. The, the first, the masculine is like a logos noun. The feminine is like a techne noun. And the neuter is different, okay? The only thing that is different, however, is that you have what we see in, in what we see in the relative pronoun, hos, he, ha, in the neuter, and what we've seen in the definite article, um, ha, he, ta, that is the neuter nominator accusative of singular, is just a, ah, and no, no new after it. So other than those two forms, the ones with the little red omicrons, this, is in, this word is inflected exactly like agathos. Notice that there are no vocatives, okay? This makes sense if you understand the, that the, the, these pronouns work in correspondence to the persons of the verb. So you can't address a thing that belongs to somebody else in the second person. <laughs> All right. 